Always start with the sip. Always. Ah, uh, so, uh, that was kind of shitty. Uh, let me explain. As soon as I do a sound check here, make sure everything's okay. Explain. As soon as I do a sound check here, make sure everything's okay. All right, that sounds fine, I guess. Uh, okay. All right, where are we here? Got it working. Things are okay. There we go. There we go. So, uh, first things first, didn't stream yesterday and to uh, Monday. Monday, I was feeling out of it. Tuesday, I still wasn't feeling that gr good. 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 For your health. Um, and also the Undertale concert was going on for like three hours that day. And I was like, you know what? I'll just listen to that whole thing because everyone else on the internet is doing it and it's pretty damn good. And then I just kind of watched a video after that. So I went to bed. Then I tried going to bed early and I still was exhausted when I woke up. So there you go. But I'll be motivated to wake up early tomorrow because uh, we're getting a Nintendo Direct. Which, uh, looking forward to that. Uh... So some other stuff happened. Uh, I actually had to restart my computer before streaming right now. Um, I was dropping a lot of frames. And also, for some reason, uh, a program I had downloaded took control of my audio. So uh, there was no sound coming out of the speakers or the uh, or the microphone. Well, actually, I don't know if there was sound coming out of the microphone. There was just no sound coming out of my headphones. So I had to restart it and then put the right driver back on. Long story short, is because I downloaded some uh, drivers for a uh, a program that's not going to be sold in another couple days, and uh, it's pretty shitty. But I want to keep the program in case I need it. So I uh, I got on that, and then I guess it fucked everything up, and I didn't realize it because I uh, don't listen to my headphones most of the day. Uh, yeah. And then uh, the other thing worth mentioning is if you haven't seen it, and you probably have if you're on Twitch, because it's been a big, pretty big deal. They're fucking forcing ads on people now, like, in the middle of streams, if you don't run a, a ad break, which is total bullshit, by the way. Like, if they want to make it mandatory, then fucking make it mandatory that I hit the button once a stream. Um, that being said, if you get interruptions, I'm sorry, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it anymore, aside from telling people to sub to me, which, you don't have to sub to me, that's, that's... Five dollars is not worth the 30 seconds of content you'll lose. Um, but yeah, that kind of catches us up on everything. Uh, I decided that instead of doing Legend of Mana this week, I'm just going to focus on this. Because I think that at the rate I'm going, uh, I could probably beat the main story by tomorrow night. And then uh, I'll take a little break from the game, do another Smash stream. I might stream Mario 64 this weekend when, um, when the collection comes out. And then uh, next week, I'll probably focus on Legend of Mana and go through the, not all of it, but some of the repetitive stuff uh, in my spare time in this game. Namely, the level 3 dungeons. It turns out I really don't need to do those on stream to reach the end of the game. So uh, I might do a couple, but subs are delicious. Yes, they are delicious. Especially if they're not from Subway. That's not true. Subway's, Subway's okay. But Jersey Mike's is where it's at, though. And I know this because I'm both Jersey and Mike. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to finish this story up tomorrow, and then I'll save the post game for when I like get through Legend of Mana a bit more. Um, I'll probably do the level 3 dungeons on my own, and then just do the post game dungeons on stream. Anyway, we're in the middle of the second cycle. I'm doing Konal Karak, year 8. Second trip to these two. These two dungeons are very long. Last time I streamed at this part, I was held up like an hour past when I wanted to stop. This, this not this dungeon, it was the first, it was the other one in this area. But yeah, um, long story short, if you get those stupid 30 second ads, there's nothing I could do about it. Uh, I mean, I could probably make, designate like a 60 second period somewhere where I can air an ad, but apparently that only stops it for like 20 minutes. So that's kind of, uh, kind of bullshit. But whatever, man, it's, it's it is what it is. 
many, many people have already complained to Twitch about it. It's it's real shitty. Thankfully, I haven't seen it take effect on mobile yet, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem if you watch it through the mobile phone app. But what do I know? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And yeah, uh, the other thing is that, um, I mentioned it, oh, I mentioned it vaguely, but, uh, that face rig program, which I own, I do own the main program, is, uh, going down. Yeah, I can't read that. I tried taking my selkie through here last time, and they just got their ass kicked. Um, face rig is, like, stopping their sales soon, and they're gonna sell, like, a, sell, like, a stupid, like, monthly subscription yeah. thing. So people were like, well, you better get on that and buy all the shit before it goes away. So I already had the program. I just went and bought like a couple add-ons, like the live 2D thing. Unless I, in case I ever want that. Ever want to use it, because it was like two bucks. So it's like, why not? And apparently it downloaded audio drivers when I installed it that overrid my uh, headphones. And that was one of the reasons I restarted my computer. Because I was like, oh, my headset's not working. Though it turns out that, uh, I could have fixed that easily. That said, I was dropping a lot of frames before, so restarting my PC does help with that. I don't exactly know what causes it, but it just seems to happen sometimes. Ow. Still got hit by that. Uh, fuse gravity. Gravity, fuck. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. What else happened last stream? Uh, last time I streamed this. Uh, I went to Veolo Sluice and fixed the uh, river there. And it turns out they actually added new music just for that visit, specifically. Which is interesting, because if someone just goes to that dungeon once to fix the river and not to uh, just clear it normally, they'll never hear the normal music now for it. Also looked into the uh, speed run of this game, and it turns out it's actually not as grindy as you think it would be. Like, well, not the speed run, but like running through this game isn't as grindy as you think it is. Because apparently, the final dungeon drops nothing but uh, buffs that you can't take with you. But like, it's it's really easy to get like plus twenty to thirty to each stat. So theoretically speaking, I could probably beat it at the point I'm at if I got lucky with the drops. But I'm going to finish the second cycle, at least, and, uh... At the very least, I want to finish some of the storylines up. I like the, the Magmel storyline. Uh, Hurdy, Hurdy and Gertie storyline. Uh, Denam storyline. And, uh... Amadati. Hey, Queen On. Uh, it's going pretty well. This game way back with some friends. Not near when it came out, but yeah. I've never played... Well, I played like an hour of it when it came out. My brother played through most of it, and I watched him. I always liked it, but I just could never get into it. It just seemed very... I don't know. wasn't my thing at the time. And to be honest, if I didn't... If it wasn't a game that I had known about already, I probably would not have invested money in playing this. Playing the re-release. But I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. These two, this dungeon's kind of a, uh, kind of a slot though. This dungeon's long, but it's also very easy. Whereas the other dungeon I'm gonna do right after this is shorter, but way more annoying to get through. 
getting two of the kind of boring ones out of the way now. Honestly, this could eat these two dungeons because he's going to take me the whole stream if I don't do well. Oh yeah, no, I I thought I figured it was you. <laughs> I I remember your um. I remember Queen uh, Queen Anne or Anne, sorry. I think we've I think you've spoken to me with that name before. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe I'm just making things up. I've been well. How have you been? How's how's the project going? I still don't know what flame does. It doesn't hurt me over time. I think Izzy said it may lower my resistance, but I don't know. Holy shield, ooh. That's new. Ooh, that's a little good against them. Now that I recall, it's my default name on Discord. Yeah, that's that's probably it. It's been going really well. Got a review copy of all the episodes done. Having friends take a look at it. Cool. I know development's been... It's taken a while, but... You want to release it before the 20th... Really? I had no idea it was coming up that quickly. That's cool. Keep me... Keep in touch with me about that. Definitely gonna be uh, sharing that production with my friends. I'm sure you'll post about it on Twitter, right? I'll probably see it. Especially now that I know to look. Come on. Perfect. Alright. I'll keep my eye out for that. I very much like being a hype man. These things are kind of killing me here. Oh wait, that's lightning. I should not hit that with lightning. Um, I have the double speed cast on, which with the uke stacks on top of their already fast speed casting. So their magic is, is super quick now. And I also have an accessory that'll cut my speed but raise the, uh... Raise the, uh, range. Did you ever find out why you had trouble naming your character Zai? Oh, uh, no. No, no, I had no trouble naming my character that... Uh, I can't name my online profile that for this game because there's character names and then you could also just name your general profile for the game itself and for some reason it just told me that name wasn't allowed so excuse me I just ate uh, I added spaces between each letter which looks all right yeah I don't know it's really weird like some names it's 
I've tried some other names that I knew people were using online, and they all went through, so it's not like it's limited to uh, specific people. I'm not sure either, because that's like not even... I'm pretty sure that's actually kind of a common... Not like a form name or anything. Yeah, no, it's not like a name. It's not like a username where like if you pick it, then someone else can't pick it. I've seen multiple people use the same one, and I've tried using someone else's and it works. It's just for some reason that name is censored or not allowed. And as far as I could tell, there's no character in the game with it, so it's a weird decision on their part. I have no clue what's blocking it. And it's weird too because like I'm pretty sure that's a somewhat common name segment in in Korean. I say segment because you know, like a middle or like a middle or beginning part of a name. I've seen at least a couple Korean people with with the name Zai, so I'm not sure why that name specifically is banned. I can't imagine this game was not released in Korea. Ow. Ow. And it um, is a common Korean family name, so I get that. I mean, I didn't know it was a Korean name. I just picked it when I was a kid because it was in relation to like an old... There's like a long history behind the name regarding me and, and fan characters of stuff. <laughs> Ow. I'm actually 90% Italian, so I had no idea. Maybe I will take my oh wait, but it's gonna be like level three. Well, why is this still here? It's getting to the point where magic is actually getting better than physical attacking now for me. Finally, forty-one and forty-one. So my strength and my magic are about the same. It's just that because I cast so quickly, it kind of even it kind of raises the magic uh, ability a bit. The other thing I found out is that stats only increase on the fives and zeros. So 41 strength and magic is the akin of having 40. And 46 defense is 45 defense. It works in tandem with but like temp buffs and just hitting a threshold for doing more damage. But like, if I grab a plus 3 magic accessory here, it's not going to make me do more damage with magic. Until I get another plus 1. Or until I eat a piece of food that gives me a buff. Which is another thing I haven't been doing. Using foodstuffs for buffs. I don't think I ever got to read that book, that rock, that's where I got killed. There's also something with the radius of the magic too that I've noticed, because some enemies on the edge won't get hurt as badly. Good to know. Alright, heading to the left first, because I remember this is the room that took me a very, very long time. Okay, there we go. That weird lag whenever you enter a room. Like, that was still much quicker than, uh... Oh, defeat enemies with focus attacks. Oops. Well, that kind of goes against the whole point of me doing this right now. You know what? I could probably do- I could- oh shit. Uh, I could probably go without getting the goal here, just cause... 
no matter what's gonna drop, it's probably all gonna be plus three at most, which probably isn't the smartest way to go about this, but... I found out the bonus uh, conditions are all based on weight, on uh, character race. So that's why I tend to get the same five over and over, because it's actually uh, just the Uke challenges. The Selkies apparently have the Do Not Do challenges, which sound very annoying. Can't read that. I might have to build- I want to build up a Selkie just to come in here and read those. Oh, what? Okay. Hey, which race you played? To be honest, I can't remember what race my brother played when he played this. I think it was probably Clavat, just because he likes humans. I've actually made a full caravan. I have one of, um, I have two of each character. One male, one female. Two of each, uh, race, rather. But I have not really played any of them. <laughs> it's, there's really no point to it. Like, yeah, you can just play through the game again, but then also the dungeons are still harder. And there's no story progression. It all, it's story progression's tied to file, not character. Odd, wasn't there another path over the other way? No. area. I remember very vividly from when my brother played it. There's a side quest that ends here that I haven't finished yet and um, it's a bit odd. Yeah, the game is definitely is more fun with the group. Uh, well, so I believe. I've actually never played it with the group. I've played this whole game solo so far. Where's the dead end path from earlier? Or am I heading towards it? Eh? I definitely headed in a weird, different. Oh, what is that? What is this? This is different. I don't remember these rocks being here. Soul of the Lion. Right, well, they're ice, so probably electricity is good. Nope, they all block electricity. Okay. We got one of each, huh? They blocked that too. block that as well. Oh, no, that one doesn't, though. Yeah, this might not be the smartest idea. Also, one thing I wish they would change, or one thing that I wish they'd change in this port, just auto-refill my slot with consumable items. If I could pause at any time during single player, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to just automatically refill my thing. Look at this. This weapon has such good range on its focus attack.
day now. Yeah, I got really lucky here. I didn't know this would work. Okay, that does work. Uh, minor amounts of gill and a remedy. A remedy? Ooh, I have rays. Good. I could do holy. Holy shield. Designed for Glavats, which means I can't use it. Pure armor, though. I think that's new. An alchemical potion. Okay, so it's just a really good crafting item. I think this might be the spot that I couldn't get to last time. I'm not sure. Wish this would be... Another thing I wish a quick fuse option, always, instead of just in certain circumstances. Sometimes these menus don't want to cooperate. I'm almost positive this spot wasn't accessible last time I came here. This is probably the blocked off area I couldn't get to. Mushroom Fort still has a spot that was closed on a uh, second cycle. I'll have to remember to go there on a uh, third cycle. I'm tired, Capone. It's your turn. Boss here, I remember, is, is very annoying. This is the hard one. Actually, no, the most annoying boss is probably the Antlion. Which, or Antlion. Is it Antlion or Antlion? I always say Antlion. That's where you picked the same Yuki you did. Yeah, I, I just like the design for it. I also like the, because I like birds. I also like um the voice I chose. It's very nerdy like me. Gaming like it's 1985 lately. All right, you played Mario the other day, or today rather, and I saw you uh, did not beat it. <laughs> I definitely got to the end of Mario. Why well, beaten Mario? And I oh wait, I'm out of. The what am I doing? Continuing definitely helps. Wish I had known that as a kid. What's all good? I've beaten Mario 1, 2, 3, and Lost Levels, both original and all stars now. So I am uh, all ready for 3DS on Friday. Teddy Bear. I definitely don't have that one. That's probably defense, right? Yep. Plus two defense. Mog, please be quiet. Let me 
Basketball? Mog, like, charges magic up at the absolute worst times. I don't think he's ever been beneficial to me with that. This is the worst one for him. Oh, these enemies have way too much health. I gotta start blasting with electricity at first. Hits is too much. Oh God, look at how many enemies are over there. Interrupted out of the animation. It's very, very annoying. Okay, so it takes three focus attacks after three thunders. Maybe I could squeeze out a fourth thunder? I'm not sure. though. Toad oil. I don't think I've actually gotten any toad oil before. I think this is the path of the really hard enemies. Blizzard. No, I didn't mean to do that. strength. I'll take strength if I have no other choice, but I'm going to probably stick with magic. At least the nice thing is that no matter what, I always get a full cure with just a single cure. I'm not sure if everyone at this point would get that, but... It's nice to know that, like, it takes me just a second to heal all my health.
pretty sure cures based on magic stat. I remember it saying something like it cures four hearts, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right, because I can definitely heal more than that. The fact that your max hearts in this game is like eight doesn't make it too bad. Because I could definitely cure up to full right now with seven hearts. Oh no, this is a dead end. I know that the racial bonus for Yuke is that I cast magic faster. So that combined with the fast, uh, what's it called? The wisdom charm makes it super fast. Also, I've got a decent amount of money again now. One other thing, and I've said this before, I really wish the defend uh, action was on a different button in this game instead of being part of the ring. Even if it meant cutting down the command ring by one, like, move, I think that would have been better overall. Gold gloves. Probably not for my uke. I mean, the guard command, the thing is, like, the guard command isn't terrible, it's just having to switch to it to use it is frustrating. Honestly, I'm, I've, the Duke is probably the best race for the guard, because it makes them totally invincible. I know the Selkies, it's literally just a backflip. This didn't do any extra damage. That didn't kill it in two hits, or did not hit the second time. Huh. I'm wondering if maybe there's something, some mechanic here to the third level spells that I don't know about. This is the this is the optional area I think down here. down a bit. Okay, I might need to remove this. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Most of the game is technically optional. Playing to the second cycle is optional. If you know what to do, you could beat this game on year five. very difficult, but it can be done. Yeah. 
shoot. So how does the damage formula work in this game? Because I feel like... Because they say that the Yuke is the weakest physically, but does that just mean they have a lower attack stat to begin with? Or does like a 40 for Yuke do less damage than like a 40 for a Selkie? That's probably overall my biggest uh, self-inflicted limitation here. Because I focused way too hard on strength at the beginning of the game. one. Now they, yep. I was about to say, and I think a couple of these. I think they start with less and maybe less power with their weapons. Alright. I have to look it up because, like... That thunder killed in only two hits. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't think Thundaga is actually that... Ring of Cure. I already have that. Damn, that sucks. That was what I got here the first time I came by here. Your attack is far less than your magic. Mine's even, just because I pumped all my shit into strength at the beginning. Also, I'm using very strong weapons. That's kind of the other thing, too. Strength is very easy to raise because of the uh, fact that you could just upgrade your weapon. Whereas magic, you can only get minor buffs from the accessory. And the rest all has to be uh, inherent. You don't even get another one. You just get the... If you have a cure ring, you just have the cure ring. I know you can also get the... The, uh... The raise ring in this level specifically, but it has to be on your third or further visit, and I think you have to have over, like, 310 points in bonus points. So, like, I would have to be doing way more focused attacks in order to get it, but I'm only on the second visit anyway. Also, yeah, another thing. Uh, that's... They changed the name of life to raise in this game, and I didn't even realize it. I looked up uh, part of the original game, and it raises indeed called life. Life is called Raisin FF12 as well. Yeah. I think this was like kind of before they unified it for 12. It's clear, but it's an odd thing to change. Yeah. Well, because I guess people got Life and Cure mixed up. Raise is a lot more straightforward. Let me carry the chalice to Paul. Okay, you can carry it now. Eternal armor. Thunder. 
Strength 71, magic 91, so it's less, slightly less of a difference more than I thought, but it's noticeable. Oh, okay. Well, the, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I don't know if you were here for that, um, the way that the stats work, it's by five increments of 5. So 71 isn't going to do more than 70, but 70 will do more than 69, and 75 will do more than 74. Clear. Clear. Oh god, it's it's only Thursday, isn't it? Well, Thursday Wednesday night, technically, if you're in some parts of the US. Uh this week is taking too long. I'm farming that freaking ribbon artifact, so I'm at an equal 100 mag- so I'll be at an equal 100 magic. Oh, cool. I don't know what your stats need to be for post-game, but I've heard that these uh, extra dungeons are pretty brutal. Yeah, I think it has to do with radius. I think I'm not hitting them, like, close enough for it to do full damage. Okay, that's one. That's two. So that still kills in two. Noah's loot. That's a new one. That's a magic increase. I think it's a plus five magic increase. Ooh. Well, that's uh, that's going with me. Maybe it's plus three. I'm not sure. I might have picked something else up that increased it. Because I know that getting the the rings increase it by one as well. They don't say that on the actual artifact description, but it does happen. Alright, so the ring doesn't take effect. I don't think the ring takes effect multiple times when you are when you have one already. Unlike the rest of the artifacts. One of the few dungeons in the game with three rooms. Wild load. That's where the behemoths are. Yep, there it is. Oh, God. Yeah, when you load in a room in this version, it's uh, it's it's pretty bad. Thankfully, once it's done loading, it's it's fine. still alive. I think Thundaga is actually this thing's weakness, because it stuns it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. The only thing that's going to make this un is unbearable, if, uh, excuse me, the 
The only thing that's gonna make this unbearable is if the, uh... The ghosts are back on this room. They probably are, too. They probably didn't remove any enemies. Yep, there they are. Fuck. Alright. If I don't want to remove my phoenix down, I have to keep switching then. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, and you need Holy for the boss, too. I forgot, there's a lot of switching in this one. Don't do the beh behemoths. I'm gonna kill it anyway. They just don't have enough electric resi electronic res resistance to avoid Dundog is stun. Oof. Bungled reading that out loud. Um. Yeah. I'm not fully sure how it works. There's also no bestiary in this game, so you can't really check. The hints you get from, uh... Villagers are kind of stored, but... Or not villagers, caravanners, but it's, uh, it's not really the same thing. It's not as wieldy. And you can't access it in dungeons, so... When it counts, you don't have access to it. Dumb idea. Honestly, I don't even care about the rewards anymore. I'm probably taking the plus five magic thing anyway. So there's no uh, a mighty weapon. Ooh. There's not really much incentive for me to improve, especially if there's nothing better. Honestly, the raise ring is barely even worth it just because. If I play, keep playing single player, there's no point in raise, except to make a uh, holy. This time I could finally get past that annoying puzzle that I couldn't uh, open last time I went to the other place. The only puzzle I haven't beaten. I wasn't getting messages on my, uh, thing. I can only really see it being useful for single-player Demon's Court if you don't know where the raised chest is. Is it always in the, uh, specific, um... Is it always in the specific... Wait a minute. Wow, I, all this time and I never knew you could do that. Just hit both buttons to auto-reset.
Right near the boss room at the top of the stairs to the right. Oh, interesting. I had no idea it was always in the same spot. Good to know. That would have been good to know the second time I went there. That was frustrating, that visit. Recalc them. Oh, didn't see that enemy. What was that? No why, why did it make the resist noise? Only time chests really change is when they have artifacts in them. Oh. Interesting. I thought it was just randomized every time you went into a dungeon. Same with the drops. That took way more than it did before. Another eternal armor. Gotta be something about the ranges and damage radii. Yeah, I know, but I'm unleashing it right on top of it, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But it definitely feels like um, Thundaga is not damaging as hard as Thund uh, Thundara does. Shield, it's not for me. Wait, what? But I, uh, oh, never mind. And Siri is big. It definitely felt like it took less of those than it does Thundaga. Me? Thundaga. Time select. Do you block 
holy two? Yeah, you do. like overstays its welcome by that whole last room honestly this this whole area is just way too big at least for benete ra feels smaller even though it still takes forever to get through which is why i'll be doing that exactly next that way, in case it just takes me the whole stream to do these, do these two dungeons, they're done and out of the way. I wish I wish I had that eighth thing. Begin to load the bean, mostly because I'm farming it for the ribbon. I'm I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm gonna f how to farm. I don't know if I'm gonna farm. Honestly, this doesn't seem worth it. Honestly, most of the third cycle, I'm probably just gonna do offline and then do the uh, bonus dungeons online or do the bonus dungeons on stream. Which is why I kind of want to plow through the rest of the second cycle here, because then I'm probably gonna head to the end of the game. Doing it for the bonus dungeons just in case. Magic and defense. This is the not fun gimmick fight, whereas the Lich is the fun gimmick fight. Okay. Doing good. Petrifies me now. It's good damage, though. Actually, wait a minute. Does Holy do almost as much damage? It took a pretty big chunk out of him. Yeah, it kind of does, and it's much faster. See, to me, like, Holy is just a... a He'll fight is a lot more fun with other people, and then you get all the dungeons like that. Yeah. See, to me, Holy's not a damage dealing attack, so it's like. interesting to use it that way. I always just use it to remove the, the barriers and then attack normally.
Actually, now that I know that I don't have to take Holy off, that fight's a lot more fun. Menuing would have been a drag on that fight. That's what I did the first time. I menued, holied, then I would just switch back to Dundaga or Firaga. Which is how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Firaga and not Firaga. The guy always looked with me. Crazy Uke pronunciation. No, I think they all pronounce it that way. I'm sure if I played as uh as my uh other characters, they'd say it the same way. Hail Moogle at your service, Capo. Capo. <clears throat> Here you go, Capo. Thing is, they really don't ever say the spell names in other Final Fantasy games. Oh, another letter from Denam. Cool. Let's push this storyline forward. I can do this. It's been a while since I started drinking the water here. Living off water tainted with miasma brings constant pain, but as long as I could get through this... That's an, that's the spirit! Here, take another phoenix down. Really. You're gonna need them. Still say Fira, though. Yeah. Wait a minute, hold up. Heinrich is still I wish Heinrich would send me letters so I could get him up to happy. So long, Capo! We're not going to get a lot of points here. Or no. Wow, oh, I still broke 200. I did not focus attack. A lot, I, oh my god, what? How? That would have been enough to get the life ring if this was the uh, third playthrough. Magic plus five, defense plus two, defense plus two. Well, obviously taking that one. They're a little generous with the bonus points. Quickly collected. Yada yada. It's the same journal entry you write for every uh, repeat. I don't know what these two are. I'm wondering if these are exclusive to uh, the remake. Alright, just checking to see if there's an event. Faraga. Faraga. Yeah, I can see that. Faraja. Oh. You know, do you know why it's not pronounced with the with the hard G? Wait, is the hard G is I can't remember which is which. The reason it's not pronounced Aja is because there's actually a class of spells called Aja in some of the games. Uh, I think some of the later Final Fantasies, as well as uh, a couple of the Kingdom Hearts games, have Aja level spells, and they're higher than Aga. And it's spelled with a J. All right. I lost my yeah yeah with the AGA. I lost my shit last time I tried this dungeon. So here we go again. I didn't lose my shit. I started this dungeon with like twenty minutes before three o'clock, when I usually stop, which it is currently one thirty, and uh, it took me to almost four a.m. to beat it. And I was like, oh, I should not have done this now. Long ago. 
Uh, let's just put the Thunder Ring on now. Alright, note to self, I just need... Alright, okay. I just need Rays. Oh, there we go. They put it right at the beginning. Okay. I thought I needed clear for holy for some reason. Defeat enemies with spells. Well, that's going to be covered pretty easily. Alright, heading to the left first is optional. No, heading to the right first is optional. I want to do that. This is the way to the boss. I know that Holy actually deals some decent damage here. I'm more inclined to use it. Excited for tomorrow's uh, partner showcase. I know I kind of am. If they show, oh man, I'm, I'm getting my hopes up here, but I keep hoping Capcom's gonna reveal that Battle Network collection soon. They're really, they're really cranking up the hype for Battle Network. They have that big, like, expensive statue out that I may or may not have uh, dropped. Uh, uh, may or may not have dropped 200 bucks on uh, to pre-order. What, it doesn't come out till February, I'll be fine. Um, but I really want that statue, goddamn. Especially since it references Battle Network 2, my favorite one. But uh, next year is Battle Network's 20th anniversary, so I'm almost positive Capcom will announce a, uh, a collection for the Switch. If not, other platforms too. And it'll probably, if I had to guess, it'll probably happen at TGS next weekend. Since Capcom has, like, two all-day live streams going on. But I'm also kind of hoping, like, maybe it'll show up tomorrow or something. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to expect out of tomorrow. The Nintendo Partner Directs are really, uh... They're just all over the place, honestly. The, the Getting two Shin Megami Tensei games next year is certainly not something I expected. And I've never played Nocturne either, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I know. It's still happening, though. It's all online, but it's happening. So, uh, so far, I know Capcom's going to have a two-day thing there. Uh, Nintendo's going to be showing off more of the uh, new Hyrule Warriors game. And uh, I guess there's going to be a shit ton of other announcements, too. Okay, yeah, now remember. This key, uh, you need to get from over on the other side, and then you get a key in there. Otherwise, you can't. You get locked out of that spot permanently for the rest of this run. You'll find out about what's in the director and everyone starts complaining about it. I mean, honestly, they have nothing to complain about. They were they are made well aware of the fact that this is going to be a partner showcase. Nintendo seems very uh, set on doing one reveal a week now. Like, they'll either do a partner showcase, they'll do the indie world, or they'll reveal one game. And it, I've checked, they've done one thing every single week for the last uh, month and a half. They started with Pikmin 3, then it was the indie showcase. Then they revealed the Mario Anniversary. Then they revealed Hyrule, uh, Hyrule Warriors 2 or whatever. And now this week they're doing another partner showcase. And then next week they'll reveal the fully 3D Kirby game that'll come out in 2021. That I tweeted about and I will absolutely be right. 
And then I'll be able to go back to that tweet and say, Hey, look, everyone, I was right. Okay, that's the fake one. Oh, never mind. That was the real one. Okay. Oh, I got the sounds confused, that's why. Yeah, 3D Kirby would be great. Like, the thing is, they did that mini game on the uh, 3DS, and it worked really well. They could easily implement a uh, an ability system into that and make, like, a full game out of it. And I think given how the, uh, the developers have talked about it, it seems like that might be what the series is heading to. If only for... That's the fake one. If only for one game, at least. And I'd love to see that. I feel bad because I skipped the last two. I skipped Robobot and uh, Star Allies. The mix of the reason you have trust issues. I figure if there's two chests next to each other, one of them has to be a mimic. Or if it's um, if it's Trials of Mana, then any any set of three or more chests. At least they're easy in this game. These fuckers. I think these guys resist everything. Played a bit of Star Oz, but mostly skip those two as well. I want to get Planet Robobot at some point. Everyone, I've seen a playthrough of it, and everyone says it's easily the best of the like last three main Kirby games. Yeah, this isn't doing much here. It took a lot of time. This is the easy room. The next room is the one where it's a pain in the ass. I love Triple Deluxe. Star Ally seems fun, it just seems like a lot. If I want, because I tend to 100% games, and given how many characters I'd have to run through the game with for DLC on that now, uh, that would take a long time. As cool as the idea of playing as Marx is, I, I don't think I could justify getting it right now. Maybe if I had absolutely nothing to play for like a month and a half. But, uh, nah. Robobot I might get. Thing is, I haven't put any time into my 3DS lately. I'm still at the beginning of a, uh, a Professor Layton game that I've never played before. Played an hour of it and I stopped, which is very unusual for me. I do not take long to beat those games. I've just had no time to put into it. And I can't stream it either, so... It's kind of why I'm hoping to finish this and, le and uh, Legend of Mana before the end of this month. Probably won't happen, but... Then if I get another month... Oh, there's the key. Cool. Then if I get another month to... Uh, chill before all the all the winter stuff starts coming out. I can get some other stuff done. Namely, uh, Mega Man X8. I definitely want to play through. That's been on my backlog for a while. And I would like to play through Solado Robo as well. Which I believe that'll be like an 8 or 9 stream thing. Also, I'm getting close to finishing Smash, finally. Find all the spirit battles. I think another two or three streams of that, and then I'll be done. And then I kind of have another segment for Smash planned after that, but I might wait and uh, take a break before I go back to doing that every week. Love the series, but it's stuck on the Phoenix Layton game. Not because of a puzzle, just pl stop playing it for one reason or another. I had gotten that game last year because my 3DS was um, broken, so my brother got me a new 2DS XL for my, for my Christmas gift. And, uh... I bought myself Leighton versus Ace Attorney to, I guess it's kind of like a celebration item. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I, it was worth the wait, because I love those two series. But I haven't played, um, I need to, pl I'm playing through the first D 3DS Leighton game now. I need to play the second one afterwards, and then I need to play, uh, uh, what is it? I Catriel Leighton's game. Lady Leighton, that's what it's called. Fire? No, holy.
I've said this before, but whatever stock sound effects they use for Holy's charging sound... I'm pretty sure that's the same sound uh, Toby Fox used in Undertale for the Amalgamate's voice. It's, it sounds very similar to it. It's just like lower, quieter. He's just laying there. Heavy armband. That's a defense item. Definitely. Oh no, that might actually be a strength item. My strength went up by three. I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, but uh, speaking of Undertale, I actually didn't stream last night because I was watching that concert the entire time. And man, that was, uh, it, it's something, exper experiencing that with everyone on Twitter simultaneously was, was very much something. Cool. That was cool. Uh, hey. Oh, you guys are still here. Cool. Yeah, that was real neat. Uh, am I? Hold on. Yeah, that was real neat. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. My internet just dropped like completely. Like that was not uh, that was not Twitch. That was my internet for some reason, for what a surprise twist. For once, it wasn't Twitch. Um, yeah, I have no idea what happened there. It's The thing is, it kept me uh, online on OBS Studio, like, the entire time. It was actually trying to reconnect, and it still has my, uh, it still has my live timer as a, a minute, an hour and 26 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. That, that was really weird. Okay, it sent me my, my end of stream notification thing. Thank you. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know how long I was out there. Uh, all I said was, um... I don't know, and I disconnected, honestly. <laughs> all I know is it said I w it tried to reconnect four times, so... It's probably a few minutes. So I'm, like, paranoid now. I'm, like, checking my, my computer's, uh... Wi-Fi signal.
probably work on a whole five minutes. Yeah, but that's still enough that like people will just ditch. Um, not that I really care that much. Just trying to remember what I said. So it's like, oh, well, what, what uh, territory can I retread here? Uh, I was talking about Ace Attorney. I said I got, I had gotten a new 3DS for Christmas last year, a new 2DS XL, and uh, I had gotten Leighton versus Ace Attorney for it, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And then I mentioned the Undertale concert, which was I was really, uh, I was really happy to listen to. It wasn't just listening to that; I was listening to it with everyone on Twitter listening to it at the same time. That was, uh, it was quite something. It's still online. If you go to the Undertale official page, uh, the entire concert, it was already pre-recorded to begin with. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's obviously not going to be the same without everyone else watching it simultaneously, but... It's, uh, it's very fun. It's long. Just giving you a heads up. It is, um... It is two and a half hours long, and there's a 20-minute intermission about a half hour in. So, it's like two hours and, and ten minutes. It's a pretty, pretty long concert. Save for tomorrow. It is, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's... If you have the time to listen to it, I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend listening to the whole thing in one go. Uh, what was I gonna do? Raise. Okay, there we go. And yeah, the reason I brought it up again was because I mentioned that the, uh... The sound for when you cast Holy sounds like the same... So it sounds like part of the sound effect that Toby used for the, uh... Amalgamate speech in Undertale. It just sounds like slightly quieter, which is interesting. I think it's the same like sound library. I hope it's not this computer that's causing these weird issues, because I noticed that my phone was not disconnected from the internet. Yeah, it was filmed a while- it, I think it was filmed last year? Oh, I can't open that until I go around. May 2009. Wow. That's even further back than I thought. It wasn't online, though, until last night. Last night was the first, like, big public premiere of it. like a, a recipe, though. Blue yarn. Oh, I had one of those already. Lion soul. Ring of light. Fashion kit. Thank you. Oh, they're... Yeah, there's skeletons, of course, they'll be resistant to holy. I mean, they're magic skeletons, so yeah, makes sense. I mean, between that and the fact that, like, I'll start a stream and I'll just drop all my frames at once, and then I have to restart my computer to make it stop, 
really makes me wonder if something's like going wrong with this computer, which would annoy me because I just bought it last year and I have not used it for anything intensive yet. At all. I've used it to stream stuff from my Switch through a capture card, that's it. Theoretically, this computer should be able to do ray tracing, but, uh, capture cards do a lot of the work there, yeah. I mean, this thing isn't without flaws. Like, sometimes I'll be streaming and, um, I'll see, like, not on the stream itself, but on my OBS capture, the stream drops to, like, 20 FPS. And that's just, like, the strain of the computer and the, uh, capture card. Wait, why am I using Thunder? Two blizzards, it's good. If I can get one more fire, I'll be good to open that other door finally. Oh, that enemy respawned down there. Man, I think this dungeon would actually take the full, uh... Because I am almost, what? Oh, I'm an hour and a half in. Yeah. This dungeon's still got like another half hour to go with it, probably. Once I do this, then the next two dungeons are pretty quick. Whoa, that thing's new. I think. I don't remember that from before. Buff move? No, it wasn't. Ah! Oh, I thought there was a wall there. Shit. Uh, thank you for coming by. I look, I look forward to uh, listening to that. I'll, st I'll keep my eyes on the Twitter so I know when it's, uh, when it's happening. But I'm sure I'll see it on Discord too. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. I also followed you back too. Thank you. Wait, did I kill both of those behemoths? I guess I did. Those aren't behemoths. Those are something else. I don't know what those are. Maybe they are behemoths. Maybe the other monsters aren't. Actually, no. Those look like guard dogs. You too. You have a good night. Okay, I think I might be able to uh, just... That. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I must have killed it already. Oh, it has to hit me, huh? I actually have to get hit while I'm standing on it. Hole of uh, I'm gonna refuse everything. That is definitely the one ups, the one major upside to playing multiplayer. Everyone has their own magic loadout. You can just plan exactly what you need, and then just fuse on the fly. There we go. Oh, maybe you don't have to get hit on those. Maybe that's just a uh, hit them in the right order type thing. down here first. I believe this is the optional path. Or this is the path that leads me to the, uh, the thing that I have to go to to open the boss gate. to the other room where I could hit one of the buttons or both of the buttons, I can't remember.
almost gone. Gates open. Gates open now. We head that way. Oh yeah, I remember how to do this now. This is annoying. There's two separate uh, pads I have to take here. Sell it. Ooh. Oh, was that a debuff? It was. Cut my stats in half. They fucked me. Chunk of diamond ore. Not bad. Cleared out all the enemies in here. Truth be told, there's not anything in here except for the key, which we need to head to over here to do. Okay, so push this up. Shit. Oh, that's weird. I definitely felt like I was too high there. Okay, pick this up. It's in the right spot. Oh, it's on the butt! Fuck. It's not in the butt fuck. Shit. Really? Okay. I really hate put I really hate puzzles that require putting a chalice on stuff. It is very annoying. 
it's, it's still not on it. That's still not on it. Again, I did not do everything here. At least this is a lot quicker than uh, it took me the first time. This is one of the puzzles I got stuck on. on me and not the chalice. That puzzle solved again. was. It's the beginning of the area. Yeah, I already unlocked this part. Alright, we can't go to the other side of that door, so honestly, going through the left side is probably better better overall, because you could just do everything in one go. Houses. Oh, he got me with the debuff. I'm not doing so well here. stays open when you do that. Alright, neat. Now I just gotta get back to the beginning and go to the other door, and I can get the rest of the goodies in here. 